Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to do phonics lesson 110. We're going to review our long and short vowel sounds. So when Miss Watson asked, write the lowercase letter that makes the A sound. Well, you'll be writing the letter A. And because I hear the vowel say its name, that's the long sound. And it'll have the macron right above it. I might ask, write the lowercase letter that makes the a ah sound. And if that's our sound, we'll write a lowercase a and the breve right above it. Then we might have the lowercase letter that makes the a eh sound. I know that's our short sound, our short e, with our breve. Then we might have the lowercase letter that makes the e sound. Well, I hear that vowel say its name. So I'll write the e and the long line, the macron right above it. I might have the vowel that makes the i sound. That's our letter I with a brief. Or the lowercase letter that makes the I sound. That will be still the same letter I with a macron because I hear the vowel say its name. So now we're going to try to sound out a word with our new digraph the CK. So we have this one will have er ack. I know, there's my digraph CK, and the line goes underneath to show the two letters make one sound. I know that A is short. The A is going to be short because the CK comes after it. If the CK comes after that vowel, the vowel is going to be a short sound. But if I change it, I can change it this way. I'm going to change my A to the long sound. When I change it to the long sound, I won't have a CK anymore. I'll just have a K and then I'll have a silent E on the end. We'll be learning about that pretty soon. But this word would be rake. Rake, because that's my long sound. So we're going to review our long and short vowels and our CK sound. So our first one, unicorn U. Elephant F. Apple a ah, equals e inch i octopus a ah, umbrella a ah, icicle i overalls o duck. And acorn A. So now you're going to take out your worksheet, page 110. You're going to write your first and last name and your number up at the very, very top, right at the top. And then we are going to get started. So on number one, you're going to write the lowercase letters that make the digraph k sound. So that's the way we've learned it. It's also on your paper right at the top. You're going to write that for number one. Number two, you're going to write the lowercase letter that makes the ah sound as an ostrich. Remember to code it either with the breve or the macron. 
Number three, you're going to write the lowercase letter that makes the E sound as an eagle. You're going to write either the macron or the brief. Number four, you're going to write the lowercase letter that makes the I sound as an igloo. Make sure to make the brief or the macron. Number five, you're going to write the lowercase letter that makes the U sound, as in unicorn. Number six, you're going to write the lowercase letter that makes the A ah sound, as in apple. Make sure they both have their code, either the breve or the macron. Number seven, you're going to write the lowercase letter that makes the uh sound as an umbrella and make sure to code it. Number eight, you're going to write the lowercase letter that makes the a sound as an acorn and code the vowel. Number nine, you're going to write the lowercase letter that makes the e eh sound as an egg and code that vowel. Number 10, you're going to write the lowercase letter that makes the I sound as an icicle and code the letter. Number 11, you're going to write the lowercase letter that makes the O sound as in overalls and code the letter. And number 12, you're going to write the lowercase letters that make the qu sound and code that. That's the two letters that make the one sound with an arc underneath. Down on the bottom, you're going to code all of our diagraph that you see on the paper.